Ryan Curtis, 16. Riley Blount, 13 years old. Maya Sanchez, 11. Alright guys, listen, today let's talk a little bit about 1v1 play and angle play. Here a little bit, alright? And what I've done is use a 100 year old method that all good goalkeeper coaches have used with the rope here. And the reason for that rope is to show how I cut down an angle. And the reason for the rope is because it visibly shows the goalkeeper uh, that's a good thing. So important when I cut down the angle on a ball, Ryan, get set where you feel good. So important that I cut down this angle, but I go straight at the ball here. And as I get wider, get lower, down, both hands out, set there, set there. Now from here, Ryan can get that far post which is represented by the rope, come on, and he's still got his near post, which is represented by the rope. You'll see goalkeepers lose their way a little bit, and they're set good to start, but then maybe they get off here, and they end up over here, and show too much far post, and make it inviting for the, the shooter to get. Or, they come here, and the cardinal sin is give up their near post. So our angle, matters. Now listen, in key here, we want to take on a 1v1 as much ground as the shooter will allow us. The shooter allows us ground when he or she doesn't have possession of the ball, isn't ready to strike the ball, passes the ball, dribbles the ball, any of those things allow us to take our ground. We'll come back to our footwork here and the key is always going to be what? I've got to be set, and I've got to be patient. Does everybody understand that? Big, because I'm, I'm ready to shoot. He's covering his whole goal. Here, I'm ready to shoot. Back up, show big. But then, in a 1v1, as he gets closer, come on, buddy, I want him to get lower, because now my ability to go over him goes away, and I'm going to look to go low here. Lower, 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 to make that there and this back there. That's so nice there. I see a lot of hand there, a lot of palm. He's not here trying to get it there. He was here. I can't get that by him. And then he gives his whole body go ahead to knock it away into that space. Very nice. So big because in my head is the shooter. I, I, I want to see. I see all sorts of goals. My game within the game takes that away from me. And then I hesitate. And she sets, and she's patient, and down. Easy, don't, don't move. I like this. Look where she is. Off the frame. Now reach it out. And she has this ball saved well off the frame. So if something bad happens, it's safe. It's not right on the goal. Very nice. Hey, let's talk about two technical aspects of 1v1 play here real quick, all right? There's two situations. One is I have possession of the ball. I'm ready to shoot the ball. In that situation, like we talked about, you have to be patient, you have to hold, and you're looking to win my reaction, be it my shot, be it my dribble, whatever it might be. That's the first situation. The second one is the 50-50 ball. The 50-50 ball is the ball that you've decided you can go and win. Our key is gonna be to show that forward dive on that, so that you win the ball safely, and more importantly, you stay safe as young athletes, right? You're not getting hurt. Let's show the first one. So here we go. So you're set. I clearly have possession of the ball. Go. I still, now hold, hold. And I still, I could shoot. And then I make this move, and that's the ball you got to win. Not probably quite that dramatic there, although it was spectacular. So here we go. We're going to do a turn, set, and we play. Here we go. And turn. And we go. Come on. And I go there. And win it. Very nice. And turn. And we go. Very nice. Good. Well held. Finished up. 1v1. 1v1 training. All right? So we talked about our angles a little bit and making sure we understood that the more ground we can take, the less goal there is for the shooter to play with, right? When we talked about our patience, good players, good
good dribblers want you to dive in as a goalie, so your patience to hold and stay is important, right? And then we talked about it's so important that if it's a 50-50 ball that you can win, that you properly use the forward dive to get yourself out of any trouble, all right? Aggression on 1v1 is certainly important, right? But you can be overly aggressive. waiting for me to panic into a first move. It's not easy. It's not easy with all the chaos around me as the shooter, so take that as your advantage. Great job today, guys.